Welcome to day 13. Today we are reading in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, starting in verse 45. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama shabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, he's calling Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn. It was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split. The tombs broke open and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tombs and after Jesus' resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many people. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, surely he was the son of God. Many women were there watching from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to care for his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's sons. I think one of the most interesting parts in this passage is the mention of the curtain in the temple that was torn in two when Jesus died. Do you know the significance of that moment? If not, I encourage you to spend some time talking to your parents about why that moment was so significant. Perhaps do a little bit of research because that is one of the most powerful gifts that we have been given thanks to the death and resurrection of Jesus was the fact that the temple became open and that curtain was torn and what that really means. We have that power now in our lives and in our hearts. Spend some time really thinking and discussing with your family about what that means and think about and reflect how Jesus, how God, how the Holy Spirit has been active in your life in the last weeks and months. Think about how Jesus' power is in you, how the power of the Holy Spirit is working in your life. Reflect on those, share those moments with one another and praise God that we no longer have to go into a temple, that we no longer have to do sacrifices that we have a direct connection to our Lord and Savior.